So here I'm just going to cut down this uh, extra length oil pipe. I actually got a two foot length. Just chopping it down here with these um, sprinkler system snippers, I guess. It's a cleaner cut. Okay, so with the return pipe cut to size, I'm just going to refit this uh, oil filter assembly unit with the new pipes fitted. And, uh, got a clamp here somewhere. That should hopefully allow a, a lot more room to get this pipe all the way to the top of this spigot here. There we go, that's a good fit. And yeah, there's enough room for it to bend back now as well. And I have to deal with the other line as well, put a clamp on the other side next, but I'll just leave that there for now. It's a lot tidier. Here I'm just fitting the oil filter clamp bracket and um, also these this tab washer as well. I'm just going to pin it with this Allen wrench so I know where everything needs to line up at. So there's three things to do at once here. Here I am thinking I've made good progress and I'm thinking, gosh, those those uh, oil lines look awfully exposed. And then I suddenly remember. Yes, these are those hose pipe protectors, the metal protectors that I painted. I, I spray painted those. So thankfully, I haven't got uh, too much further into the bike. All I need to do, hopefully, is undo these hose clamps here and then on the other side on the junctions. This new cloth tube is a little wider diameter than the original herringbone and uh, so it's not a problem, it just takes a 
minute or so extra to push this tube down over. Don't want to chip all my paint off that I just spent all that time doing. There, good. Well, that wasn't so bad. It's all taken care of now and looking a lot better. Yeah, all I did was undo the um, hose clamps here, this Jubilee clip here and then on the other pipe around the back and then just pushed over those protectors over the oil pipes. And um, this one was a bit snug here because of the cloth pipe that I went for. It was a bit cheaper, but um, yeah, it, it worked just fine. And then uh, the only concern I had was whether the collar here on the right, the one on the left is not so bad, it's further back. Well, actually, it sits further over to the left on this across tube. But the one here on the right, um, it was sort of interfering with that um, protector, that metal protector. So just jiggled it around and it, it uh, works okay now. And then also with putting that protector on, I realised this pipe on the left, the return pipe, was a little longer than it should have been and so I just lopped off maybe an inch and a half, two inches. Uh, so it's a more of a smoother bend now and a, a nicer fit. So uh, yeah, that's the oil lines completed. Here I'm just refitting the retaining strap for the oil filter and uh, pretty simple fit. Just pushes on over here. And you saw earlier that um, you notice I just tighten this by hand. You know, give it a pretty firm tighten, but um, you, you don't want to use any tools when you're tightening these up because it was impossible to get them off without banging a screwdriver through them otherwise. I've also cleaned all these hose clamps up as well. If you hadn't already noticed, I just put them on the wire wheel and it came up real nice. I don't think this is going to be going anywhere. Oh, I, I straighten this bracket up, but it, it, it intentionally bends as you tighten this down. This oil filter ain't coming off. That's solid there. So that's the oil filter assembly reinstalled and it certainly looks a lot neater than it did before right and so the next job will be to move on to the horn assembly